Well, hey there, I'm Howard. I'm Canada's leading sales and leadership uh, strategist. I give Go Brunch four out of five stars. And for more reviews like this, just go ahead and click the link down below. Well, in making my decision here, I've looked at, uh, I've worked, uh, done a lot of work with Zoom. I've worked with Big Marker and several other webinar platforms. And the challenge that I typically have with them is the restricted interaction with the audience that I have with those platforms. Uh, that sometimes you actually need a webinar solution where you can interact with that audience. Uh, Zoom is a tremendous add-on and, uh, and with the downloads and everything, some of our users have had difficulty with that. And with things like Big Marker, which I also have an account for, I just find myself not using it because there's restricted ca capacities in terms of the number of people that I can host in those rooms. And the minute I go to webinar function, uh, I lose all of the ability to interact or even see my audience, which is huge because that feedback loop, being able to see the people that you're talking with, provides a feedback to me or you as a speaker, which enables us to keep the flow of communication running far more smoothly, more la uh, lifelike, and, and far more animated. Before uh, actually making the purchase to buy Grow Brunch, I took a trial account just to, just to test it out. And the thing that instantly struck me about it was the simplicity of the user interface, not just as an administrator, because I looked at it from two lenses. I, I downloaded it, I took it up, I set up my room. It was probably the simplest uh, user interface I'd ever seen. But then I gave it to my wife, who's kind of a technophobe, and I hosted a meeting. I said, all right, get on there, here's the link, go. And uh, the simplicity from a user's perspective to be able to come on, the intuitive nature of the controls for the room and the fact that there was no download for a new platform, it was so simple and so easy to start having live one-on-one -on -one interaction. And then we widened it out and I, I brought many people into a, into a test meeting. I brought 20 people online and we were all able to see each other, talk with each other. With me as the administrator having control over the microphones and the cameras, but them having the ability to override that and come back in if they needed to do so. I just, I love the simplicity of it. So that to me is really one of the biggest things with Go Brunch. One of the things I love about Go Brunch is that the onboarding or the setup is probably the simplest thing that I've ever seen. Like I said in previously is that the user interface is so simple and it's so intuitive that I literally had the room set up. I had my, my room set up with all of the custom controls, the names of the accounts and all the rest of that. It was literally done in just a matter of minutes and I was hosting my first meeting probably 10 minutes out of the gate. I've never had a setup that was so seamless, so quick and so intuitive. So hey, listen, if you're looking for a, a video platform where you can host both small intimate meetings or even maybe larger type uh, webinars, I'd say the Go Brunch is really, a, it's a great alternative to many of the standard things that we see out there like uh, the, you know the webinar platforms and Zoom would obviously be the most the most obvious of those things. The interface is absolutely simple so that you can bring new people into meetings without them having to mess around and figure out where the controls are. They just basically click the link and they're good to go. So I think it's it's a phenomenal thing. For me the only the only downside to to go brunches and I've talked to the developers I know that they're working on this is one, in some of the conference rooms, the number of people is restricted. So for example, if I'm hosting a meeting with, uh, with 78 people, I need to choose a room that will host 120. And because there's 120 people that'll be hosted in that meeting, they're all restricted to smaller type icons. And one of the things that I asked for them is that they increase the size of the camera view of the audience so that we can actually read each other's body language. That to me is really the only downside to Go Brunch, but the ability to screen share, to virtually bring up captured windows onto the screen, broadcast out to be able to see what you're doing live time, which you cannot do with many of the webinar platforms. The minute you start screen sharing, you've lost contact with your audience and you're just looking at the window. Go Brunch solves all of that and gives a beautiful uh, interface to really talk and interact with your audience live time. So I, I find it to be probably one of the most intuitive and best platforms that I've worked with to date. And if you're looking for something like that, uh, that's affordable, easy to use, and streamlines your communication with customers or larger audiences, I'd say Go Brunch is uh, probably a good choice for you.